Hello, and thanks for checking out another one of my YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be making a duck call out of black walnut and epoxy. Um, and to start here, I've got some cutting board material that I bought from Walmart. I think it was uh, $14 or so. And um, I've cut it into pieces to make a mold that I just reuse over and over again. I hot glue it together like I'm doing here, um, which is nice. And you can just break it apart when you're done and um, peel off the hot glue and start over. So it works out pretty well. So here I'm measuring the inside dimension of my mold um, and I cut the pieces of black walnut on the bandsaw. I actually don't show the cutting here, but I'll show the finished product afterwards. Just making sure I get the dimensions right so it'll fit in as tight as possible. So here I've got pieces in, just slivered up pieces of wood, thin pieces. And uh, I put a piece on top and a tape over the top so when I pour the epoxy in that it doesn't float up and, and go all over the place. So I'm using Alumilite Amazing Clear Cast Plus. Uh, it's equal parts A and B by volume. So I ended up mixing up uh, just the right amount here, or a little over actually in this case. And then I'm going to split this into two uh, different pores. Uh, one of them is going to be just black and the other one's going to be red with some black mixed in to darken it. So here you can see I've added the red with a touch of black and black into the other one. And I do this, sometimes I'll do this and simultaneously pour them to kind of add a, a swirl effect of the two or have, have a call kind of blend from one color on the top to another color on the bottom. And sometimes it turns out pretty, pretty well, sometimes it doesn't turn out that great, but just playing around and experimenting with different ways to do things. So I've got a pressure pot here. I, uh, I put these in for about 24 hours at 60 PSI. And what this does is press all the bubbles that may be in it uh, down to a really small, tiny bubble uh, to where they're not able to be seen and don't, don't have any voids or holes in the uh, finished product. So I bring it up to 60 PSI and shut it off and come back in 24 hours. Here we are 24 hours later. So I actually under poured on this, which made it a lower level than I wanted. And it'll give me a problem here later on that you'll see where I'm gonna have to fill a, a void. So I get it chucked up and sometimes I'll tap on it to get it as level as possible before I drill it out. And then I will drill it out to 5 eighths of an inch and go from there. So I'm taking the chuck off here and I'm going to replace it with a 5 8 arbor that I got from a company called Breakheart Tool Company. Uh, I bought it on eBay. I don't recall how much it was, but I'll, I'll see if I can put it and it'll pop up in the video here. But So first thing I'm going to do here is round it out uh, using a roughing gouge. So the band I'm going to use on this one is a brass band. Uh, it's unpolished. I also got this from Echo Calls. Uh, I put it on and then end up polishing it or sanding it and polishing it while it's on the call itself. So 
So then I'll take a pair of calipers and I'll measure the width of the band and I'll turn the band or the lathe on and scribe a mark so I know where I need to cut into this because uh, I'm going to make a cut the exact width of the band. So in this case, because of how tight the band was, I'm actually not going to pin this one. Typically I pin them, I'll uh, drill holes through them and pin them due to the expansion and contraction. That way it keeps it solid on there, but and as you can see here, I'm pointing out the uh, the void that I left by under pouring, so we're going to have to make some magic happen to fix that here later. So I am not an expert on fixing these kinds of things, but I came up with the idea that I was going to put some hot glue around it to act as a dam and then fill it up with black CA glue. I actually have Starbond black medium thickness. So it seemed to work out fairly well. No, it's not ideal, but uh, I didn't want to didn't want to start over or have to do a whole new pour and I was kind of anxious to get it done, but it actually turned out fairly decent. All right, sanding time. So on this one, I started out at 120 grit and worked my way up through the grits all the way up to 600. I'm using Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. If you haven't used this stuff, it is absolutely awesome. It seems to last forever. It's good on bowls and you know, anything else you're really turning, epoxy and wood. Uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. Essentially, it starts out at a lower grit equivalent, uh, and as you rub it into the material while the lathe is spinning, it, it breaks down and, and turns into a equivalent of a higher grit. Um, and then you end up wiping everything off and they've got a polishing compound that I'm going to use after this that has some Carnuba wax and other things in it that works really well. You can see I'm using it on the band here as well. I try to do the band last because um, as the material polishes it leaves a black, I don't even know what you would call it exactly, but you can see it on the paper when I'm doing it and um, that will actually go into the wood and, and uh, stain it if you do it afterwards. So do the call and then I do the band last and you should be able to watch here on a second time you can see the dark color oh i didn't show it but i think you might have seen it on the first one and that's it this is the uh, finished product uh, black walnut and epoxy with black and red pigments in there and then again i use echo calls inserts uh, you should check them out i believe it's echocalls.com awesome sounding inserts for me it's really just about making the barrels that's my that's the part i like uh there's a lot more art that goes into making the inserts, and I'm, I'm not quite there for that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.